And it is time for the skinny and topping our headlines this morning. President Obama handing out some valuable advice to Kanye West. Who knew? West, believe it or not, says he may run for president in 2020. So what does the current commander in chief have to say about that? Do you really think that this country is going to elect a black guy from the south side of Chicago with a funny name to be president of the United States? That is crazy. That's cray. That's cray. <laughs> That's cray. That's cray cray. Yeah, it is. Well, the president made the joke at a fundraiser this weekend in San Francisco where West was headlining that night. I like that he used cray. Because you were, I wonder if the press knows about fleek. You were teaching me last week. Yes, commercial yes. Break. Like the, the that that wardrobe right there is on fleek. It's on fleek. It's on fleek. Right. Well, next, speaking of presidential oh, school, you're schooling me. Yeah. All right. Thanks for trying to make me cool. Speaking of presidential politics, is a song that's at the center of a tug of war between one Republican hopeful and a music legend. Little did anyone know more than 40 years ago when this song was released that it would spark a growing political firestorm. Yeah, attorneys for Aerosmith frontman Steve T Steven Tyler has sent a cease and desist letter to Donald Trump's campaign to stop using that iconic rock ballad at okay, his so, campaign events. Yeah, so get this. Tyler is a registered Republican, and his lawyer says this isn't about a political or personal issue with Trump, but one of permission and copyright. No comment yet from the Trump campaign. So it's a money issue. <laughs> so next up, Vin Diesel is striking back at what he calls body shamers. Just days ago, paparazzi caught him shirtless in Miami sporting a <clears throat> softer yeah. look. Maybe that's the right word. Softer. Many fans labeled the dad bod. So the 48-year-old Fast and Furious actor has taken to Instagram, releasing this photo to his 11 million followers, lifting his shirt, showing off his famous physique. We're sucking in for the two seconds that it takes oh, to click. Uh, the photo no. has reached more than 200,000 likes with one fan commenting, if that's what they call a dad bod, then bring it on. Bring on the laundry too. Yeah, you, <laughs> yes, I sort of six pack. Speaking of big numbers, a piece of celebrity real estate has just dropped in price again. Bankrupt rapper 50 Cent has been trying for eight years to unload his 50,000 square foot mansion in Connecticut. Wow, that's huge. Wow. Uh, it was originally listed at $18.5 million. He's cut the asking price several times. Now it's down to just $8.5 million. I wonder if he'll pay the heating bill if you buy it. Oof, that'll cost $8.5 million. The house is set on 17 acres, 21 bedrooms, one of the largest private residences in America. Wow. Cost $72,000 a month to maintain. He bought the house back in 2003 from Mike Tyson for just over $4 million. And even at $8.5 million, one real estate expert says it's too high and it expects to sell closer to just about $5 million. Too many windows to have to wash. Too many windows. Or else I'd put in. Grass to cut. <laughs> 17000 just to maintain it. Poor news straight ahead.